This is a Mary Dutch Filipina. It's block number two of San Diego, California. Welcome to San Diego, California. This is the hotel that we are staying in, the San Diego Marriott Marquez and Marina. It is located in Marina District of downtown San Diego. The hotel itself composed of two towers of equal height. The two towers are the 20 tallest buildings in San Diego and are prominent feature in the city's skyline. Let's start here and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ameri Dutch Pina, and if you haven't been here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's have fun and be part of my YouTube journey. And today's vlog is more about the informative and educational stuff about the San Diego Marina and more interesting history of World War II, the historical battleship fought by war, and the kissing statue located in this area of San Diego Harbor. So bear with me and let me show you more about this beautiful marina and let me tell you more about the history of this area. As you can see there are lots of people walking enjoying this beautiful weather while having this beautiful view of the marina and this area itself has a lot of restaurants and bars where you can spend your time enjoying facing to the ocean. We are now at the old town San Diego and let me tell you about how they discovered it. So the old town San Diego is considered the birthplace of California. The San Diego is the site of the first permanent Spanish settlement in California. It was here in 1769 that Father Junipero Serra came to establish the very first mission in a chain of 21 missions that were to be the cornerstone of California colonization. Father Serra's mission and the Fesidio were built on a hillside overlooking what is currently known as the Old Town San Diego. At base of the hill in 1820s, a small Mexican community of adobe building was formed and by 1835 had attained the status of, of El Pueblo de San Diego. In 1846, a U.S. Navy lieutenant and a Marine lieutenant raised the American flag in the Old Town San Diego Plaza. And furthermore, in 1968, the State of California Department of Parks and Recreation established Old Town State Historic Park to preserve the rich heritage that characterized San Diego during the 1821 to 1872 period. The park includes a main plaza, exhibits, museums, and living history demonstrations. As you can see, this old town is full of life. There are lots of different culture and also there are lots of restaurants where you can buy foods and sit wherever you want.
This is one of the cleanest area in San Diego where you can enjoy the ocean breeze and beautiful views. There is also a fish market for seafood lovers and some ship museums where we are heading to soon. Finally, here we are. I've been longing to see this again. Here you can see already the famous USS Midway battleship. Well, I love history, so let me tell you about this recognitions. I think it shows the massive battles, soldiers that lost their lives. These are the different ships and different things that happened during the World War II. As you can see, there is also the Philippines where I came from, who fought the war, the extraordinary heroism in action against the powerful unit of Japanese fleet during the battles of Samar in October 25th, 1944. This is so emotional for me every time I go to this kind of place where I know thousands of soldiers lost their lives fought for this battle during the war in order for us to have this freedom. And that is why we should be thankful for these heroes for giving their lives for us. The Philippine Presidential Unit Citation Badge is a unit decoration of the Republic of the Philippines. It has been awarded to certain units of the United States military and the Philippine Commonwealth military for actions both during and subsequent to the Second World War. During the World War II, all the U.S. military unit and naval vessels that earned any of the Philippine service stars and certain submarines which maintained physical contact with the newly ongoing Philippine Commonwealth military and local recognized guerrilla forces during the Japanese occupation of the Philippine Islands during the World War II are entitled to the award. In here, the USS San Diego CL-53 was one of the most decorated U.S. ships of World War II, being awarded 18 battle stars and was the first major ally warship to enter Tokyo Bay after the surrender of Japan. Decommissioned in 1946, the ship was sold for scrapping in December 1960. Over there, that's the famous statue of the soldiers coming home from their victories. So come with me and let's go there. The unconditional surrender, aka the kissing statue, along the downtown waterfront next to the USS Midway ship, the 25-foot installation recreates the famous embrace between a sailor and a nurse celebrating the end of the World War II in New York's Times Square in 1945. The question is, what is really the meaning of the unconditional surrender statue? It means, if the photograph of raising the American flag on Iowa, Gemma is the quintessential World War II icon for triumph 
in a just war, then the unconditional surrender is the icon for the just rewards of victory. Actually, the fact behind the famous kissing statue is that the two participants in the world's famous kiss didn't even know each other. The reason is that the sailor grabbed someone dressed like a nurse was that he just felt very grateful to nurses who took care of the wounded. It was just somebody really celebrating after the war, but it wasn't really a romantic event at all. Next to the kissing statue is a figure with Mike as a bronze likeness of Bob Hope, the legendary movie, TV comedian and entertainer in his prime. Before his death in 2003 at the age of 100, Hope had performed in hundreds of USO events since 1941, entertaining US military audiences in far-flung theaters of conflict from the World War II to the Gulf War. Like some morally igniting secret weapon, Bob Hope was deployed to maximum love, efficacy, and much love by men and women in uniform. In 1997, President Clinton bestowed on Hope the rank of Honorary Veteran. It is a very interesting and fascinating story, right? So now we are heading to have our early dinner. We're showing you more of San Diego Marina. I hope you enjoy watching this informative blog and I also hope that I entertain you enough. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, comment and share and click the notification bell for the latest updates of my weekly video. And I want to say thank you so much everyone. So after we had dinner, we came here for the dessert. 